Hey Dave, thanks for letting me come by to, to check out where you relax when you're not on the road. We're just at the, the 2014 Guilty by Association truck show. What is it like to be able to go to a great show like that and then return home within, you know, 10 or 15 minutes? Uh, that's pretty nice, pretty convenient. You can't hardly get much better than that. So you're probably spoiled because if you need something from, uh, from Four States, you know, slash Chrome Shop Mafia, you can just run down there oh, and yeah. get it pretty quick, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Well, they don't kill around all day out there, which that's pretty easy to do. Kids, truckers candy store, basically. It, yes, it is. <laughs> it, there is a lot to look at, and and they have everything in stock. So anything you think you might need, you can probably grab it right there, oh, pretty yeah. easy. And how long have you been here for? Uh, we've been down here for uh, a little over 30 years. We come up here, and this it was in uh, 80 fall of '84, and this house was built in '78, ranch style house. It had a, we need a place for the truck and had a concrete pad on the south side guy built for his airspring travel home. This pad is perfect. I'm sure when you saw this and the home combined, it made for a really, really good choice, huh? Oh yeah, we fell in love with it right off the bat. It was built in 78 and it was 84, so it was relatively new. When you come home, what are you typically doing? Uh, usually the first thing, of course, when I hit the yard, if the wash bay's open, I pull through and wash the truck off. And then I come home and depend on what time of day or night, if it's if the truck needs all changed, I've got quick drains and I'll usually drain my buckets so it's hot and everything and then I'll make it the oil the next day and put it back in it. Your garage looks pretty homey. Yeah, I've got a lot of oh, different posters from truck shows. I've got different super rigs, calendars. Uh, this is my brother's truck. He got on when it was in Sacramento. He actually uh, got on a couple years before I did. <laughs> We was both out there in 08. I got picked when they had it up at Walcott. Cool. So what else you got here in the, in the garage? Uh, what, what do you do here? I, got, I started collecting license plates. I started in alphabetical order. And I've seen some of your pictures on Facebook where you go to different places to, to deliver and you're somewhere else. You're out on the beach or you're on a, a trail and, and things like that. Why'd you decide to bring your bike along and be adventurous? Well, this bike, I've always wanted to be able to take it on the road, but I, it's, it was too big and cumbersome. So I started checking out fold-up bikes and they had some and I actually got one, but it had little tires on it. It looked like a little circus bike and it was okay, but there's this bike in the military you used to jump out of airplanes called a paratrooper. It had the bigger 26 inch tires and it's more of a mountain bike. Well, man, that ought to be pretty rugged for a truck. It come with a bag. It's got a quick release and the front tire comes off, goes in a slot, and it folds up, seat goes down, weighs 29 pounds, zips up, loaded in there, put it on the shelf, it's locked up, sent out of the weather. Last summer, I need to do a 34 hour restart in uh, Hanover, Pennsylvania, 20 miles from Gettysburg place where I was picking up the loads at Yager Park there, so I just found a bike shop and asked him about going to Gettysburg, either there's two highways, US 30 or 116, so don't take 116, it's too hilly, US 30 had a good shoulder. So the next morning I got up, rode over there, went downtown Gettysburg, all over the battlefield all day. I, had, and I, I mean, I seen stuff, you can't get close there in a truck been down to the Gulf Port, Mississippi, the Flying J, the beach is only seven miles. And I'll leave my shower stuff in the driver's seat so after I load the bike I'm not getting in there sweaty. And I I'll turn the tri-pack on so the truck cool down. I'll go inside, get cleaned up, be ready to take back off the road. And it seems like you're definitely burning some calories with all the riding that you're doing. Yeah, and there are some days when I might just ride six, seven miles. Some days it might be 30 miles. It's not really all that that, that's more of a casual ride to me. Yeah, so a lot of truckers say they really get to see America, you know, by way of the highways and, and some of the uh, smaller smaller roads when delivering, but you really get to see a little bit more of that in addition oh, to, yeah, to what you see on the highways. That's really yeah. cool. And my goal is to at least bicycle maybe 10, 15 miles in each state. Uh, I've got 31 down so far, so. So Dave, I really like what you've done with the garage, and this is probably typical to any guy's garage where there's lots of things to look at, lots of stickers and decals from things that guys in the trucking industry would recognize. You even got a big rig videos decal there. That's awesome. <laughs> and I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta point that out. Yeah, another, exactly. <laughs> another keep on trucking big rig videos uh, decal there, and lots of other decals that again people, industry standard companies that that we know and know and love and respect but you know what else do you do when you're not cycling 
when you're not uh, hanging out at the house. What do you like to do? Well, I love hunting. I've always hunted since my grandpa took me rabbit hunting and, and my dad hit. Grandpa took me deer hunting. I got my first deer when I was 16 years old. Where do you have the mounts at? Uh, in this room in here. All right, cool. Can we check it out? This is, uh, a lot of guys call this the main cave. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, pretty much a big boy's room here, I guess you could say. For the amount of things that you have displayed, I don't think I've asked you how long that you've been trucking for. Uh, I grew up around trucks and uh, I got my chauffeur's license when I was 18. But I wasn't old enough to drive over the road. My dad thought I needed to go to school, so I did go to a couple of years of college and took accounting courses. But then when I got to be 21, I made up my mind I was wanting to drive. So back then, <clears throat> your dad could teach you how, and he had a nice 78 Kenworth candy apple red. In fact, this is it right here, what I learned to drive on. And uh, it was a nice truck at its time. And then that was my first truck I bought. This is 82 Kenworth here, it's the first truck I had. This one up here in the snow? Yes, and that's out in my parents' backyard. First Christmas I come home. Well, Dave, you certainly have a lot of trophies and plaques and, and things from different shows. It looks like you're running out of room here. What are you going to do about that? Uh, well, someday <clears throat> I would like, we never really open the curtains on here, and I'd like to maybe try to just wall that in. Yeah, that'll get you a little more space for them trophies. Uh, I, I don't really want to do that wall because I can walk out and see my truck. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> so That's right. That. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't block that window in. Yeah. Speaking of looking at your truck, do you mind if we go out there and uh, have a closer look at the truck and, and maybe even take it on the road? And How about you, Dave? Yeah, go ahead. You mentioned that your ride is a 2005 uh, Kenworth. Is that, that's a W900? Uh, yeah, a W900L Studio, they call it. Give me some of the mechanical specs on the truck. Uh, it's a 550 Acer Cat. Uh, it's got a staged PDI tune to it. Uh, it's 13 over and 355 rears on 225 low pro. And how's she do when you're getting around the country? You got over a million miles there on her. Uh, how's she been doing for you? I've been doing really well. I had it in train back in uh, May. I had a million ninety-three thousand on it. And they did the platinum kit, uh, four-year unlimited mileage, and uh, my tune's still in there. And it just uh, there's no hills in the country, and uh, fuel mileage is uh, about seven and a half miles a gallon. That's pretty good.
Dave, you weren't even kidding about being able to back your truck up in, in one pass. There's no grass damage, the gutters aren't dinged up, your muffler isn't dinged up on the right side there, so that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to do like that. So. Cool. Years, years practice. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Well, hey, man, thanks again for, for letting me come up and, right. and uh, spend some time with you. Appreciate it. All right.